Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. Now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Momentum stocks, that's what we're going to talk about next with Mike Vodica, the Momentum Stock Analyst at Zach's.com. And that's how he's known on the entire floor, the Momentum Stock Analyst. <laughs> Amazon.com is uh, one that you've brought uh, or you want to bring to our attention, AMZN, the ticker symbol. Now, this is interesting because uh, you're getting off uh, not only into an area that you don't cover generally, but yeah. obviously a company that you don't look at. I know. It is somewhat unusual because usually we have smaller caps in the Momentum segment. But based upon the conditions here, Amazon definitely fit into the Momentum category. Mm -hmm. Um, just as, as some background information on the company, they've been around since 1994, which is you know, still a fairly young company here. Um, it's definitely high profile. Most of the listeners have probably heard of it before. And they and sell then, everything from soup to nuts. Absolutely, from A to Z. I mean, it's kind of considered to be like the online Walmart, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, the market capitalization of $36 billion, so you're looking at a large cap stock here. It's a very big company. Um, you know, what, what's happened is Amazon has, they've done really well over the last six months. Um, they just reported their quarter and their revenue was up 18% from same year, la same period last year. And income was up 24%. And one of the things that um, analysts or investors have said about Amazon is that they produce these great sales numbers, but they're on the income side. Their margins are so thin that it's really hurt their earnings. But they've been expanding their margins a bit lately. Um, last quarter, their operating margin was 6.6%. .6%, so it shows that they're making some progress in that category. That's a good thing. Um, they're a little bit cautious about their guidance moving forward. They weren't super bullish. But the analysts are still very bullish on the company. Next year estimate is projecting 27% earnings growth, so that's pretty solid. And look at that chart. <laughs> look at the chart, that's right. Yeah, and then so then you, when you look at the fundamentals of what is expressed in is that their share price has been on a pretty big rally. It kind of says it all, yeah. For the last six months, it's more than doubled, uh, bottomed out at $35 in December, and it's recently touched over 87 so they're doing really well. All right, and here's another one that you, uh, I don't know, you might have touched on this once before, uh, Netflix, NFLX, the ticker symbol. They are giving uh, Blockbuster a run for their money, I know. Absolutely, yeah. Um, this has been a dynamic that's been materializing over the last couple of years, and what Netflix has done is they've really introduced a superior model in, ter in terms of number one value and then also with convenience because having the DVDs delivered to the doorstep, you know, the consumers love that aspect right. of it. Right. Um, and also, too, Netflix is really, it's kind of an inexpensive alternative to some of the things people have liked to do in the past, like going out to dinner or going to a movie. You know, the economy is kind of struggling right now. Consumers are strapped for cash. So they're doing less expensive things. That's kind of helped Netflix a little bit here. Um, we're in the middle of earnings season. So, you know, they reported on April 23rd. Revenue was up big from last year, 21%. They beat on the earnings. They produced 37 cents. It's 5 cents ahead of the consensus estimate. Um, They've had a pretty big run up here recently in their share price. Uh, they've trading. They topped off at about fifty dollars here recently after bottoming out at eighteen fifty about six months ago in December. It's been a nice run, but from a valuation perspective, it's a little bit pricey right now. It's trading at about twenty six times forward earnings, so you want to be a little bit cautious in the short run. Mm -hmm. But overall, you know, Netflix and Amazon together, those, these are two companies that are doing really well right now, and it's based upon. Technology is something we've talked about. They really have progressive technology and progressive business models, so they're both doing well. Do you own either of these two? No, I don't. All right. Mike is more than happy to share the story behind some other momentum stocks that he's looked at in the recent past. If you go to Zax.com and over in the upper right-hand corner of that homepage, click on the headline next to his momentum category, it'll take you to his most recent story and an archive of some other stories that uh, on stocks he's written about in the recent past. With Mike Vodica, I'm Terry Ruffalo.